Hi, my name is Destiny. I'm single and I love a man who can cook. So today, three single guys are going to make me their perfect lazy Sunday morning breakfast and I'm going to pick one of them to go on a date with. The plot twist is I cannot see them and I can only pick the date based on the dish. Will I kiss the cook? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Matt, I love to cook, and I hope today's the day where I finally get my family to stop asking me if I've met someone. Today I'm going to be making my avocado toast with fried egg and pickled red onions. This for me is my ideal weekend breakfast. It's not that hard to make, it kind of hits all the categories I like in food. It's salty, it's briny, it's crunchy, it's kind of everything all in one, and I love it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pickle my red onions, and I love red onions because they have a lot of color and they had a lot of good vinegary flavor, which I like. Once that's boiled, I just pour it over my red onions that I have thinly sliced and I let that sit for about 20 to 30 minutes until I get like a nice color on it. So next I'm going to toast my sourdough in a cast iron skillet just with a little bit of olive oil. Uh, I like toasting it in a skillet because I can get the exact color that I want and also because a lot of slices of sourdough are actually too big to fit in a toaster. So this kind of works out perfectly. So once my toast is done, I get started on my mashed avocado. I just use one whole avocado, add a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of paprika for some smokiness, a little bit of cayenne just for a hint of spiciness and a tiny, tiny bit of salt. And then I mix that all together until it's nice and smooth and creamy. The final step is the fried egg. And I take my fried eggs super seriously. I like to fry my eggs over medium heat so I get some oil and I just sprinkle that in the pan. The oil is what really, really helps the outsides crisp a lot. For me, the perfect fried egg is nice and crispy on the outside but has a nice runny yolk so that when you cut into it, it just kind of oozes over whatever you're eating. So to do that, I heat a pan over medium heat and add a little bit of oil to it, crack my egg in there, and I watch and I wait until the outsides get a nice little golden brown edge on them. At that point, I take a little bit of water and I just drizzle it in the pan and I cover it. And that's gonna help the remaining white to set, but it's gonna make sure that the yolk doesn't cook all the way through. Now I'm ready to assemble. So I start with my piece of bread. I just generously top it with that avocado mash. I make sure it covers every inch of the bread. I just put my fried egg right on top and then I top it all with a little bit of pickled red onion just to add a nice little pop of color. And there you have it. That's my weekend breakfast right there. This looks perfect to me. I've got my creaminess from the avocados and my crunch from the onions and it's smooth and it's spicy. And hopefully Destiny likes it as much as I do. I'm Andrew, I'm a romantic, I can cook. What more do you need? Today I'm gonna to make Destiny my ultimate breakfast sandwich. It's an egg and cheese sandwich on a croissant. I like sandwiches, and you can't just have regular eggs, so put the two together. Next thing we're gonna do, put some olive oil on it, wait till it gets hot. We're gonna throw some peppers, some onions. I like mixing my green, my red, and my onions a little bit. You don't do equal parts all three. You wanna have a little bit more peppers and onions because onions have a bit more bite. So I let the veggies be the flavor for my food. The reason she's gonna pick my dish over the other ones is because it's not trendy, it's not gimmicky. It's a regular, mature, healthy sandwich. Once again, I'm, I'm covering all your bases here. What more do you need? As you pour the eggs in over the veggies, you wanna make sure that you're checking all the sides. It's just like in a relationship. How was your day, honey? How are you doing, honey? Can I buy you anything else, honey? Do you want me to just listen, honey? Okay, honey. You gotta do all the sides. After that, you're gonna then flip it, and this is gonna take some skill, and it's gonna take some practice. Now, don't worry, it's not a beauty pageant, okay? This egg is not getting any awards. You're not gonna do everything perfect, you just gotta make sure you, do, you play your position. So after that, throw some cheese on top, and because it's flipped, it might look a little, a little it's gonna look a little janky, and that's fine but you're gonna put the cheese on top, you're gonna pat it down still, and that heat is just gonna melt the cheese. And then you're just gonna have a, almost like a, a long, cheesy, scrambled goodness. It's just, it's, it's amazing in a pot. That's what it really is, it's amazing in a pot. After that, we're then going to take our croissants out the oven. We're gonna butter those up a little bit, just like you have to butter up your woman. Hey girl, I like those heels, they look good today. Hey girl, I, like what you, I see what you did with your nails. Go ahead, the nail lady hooked you up today. You gotta butter it up a little bit. Then we're gonna throw the omelet on top, then we're gonna throw some tomatoes, some avocado, put the top of your sandwich on, and that's it. You built a happy house, you built a happy relationship, happy life, happy wife, happy ultimate breakfast sandwich. After seeing these sandwiches, it's gonna be crazy if Destiny doesn't pick me. These are like awesome, she's gonna love them. I, I, need, I need a co-pilot, and I can cook. So you might as well just come under here, Destiny. It's, it's, it's perfect for you, it's built, it's built for you right here. Just come fit in, be, be this Lego piece. Hey guys, my name is Tyra Ola. I'm super excited to be here today because I am looking for love. Today I'm making Destiny a Corn Flakes French Toast. On a lazy Sunday morning when I'm at home and I'm not doing much and I want to eat something real good, 
French toast is always like my go-to dish to make. It's super easy, it's very simple, because it has a lot of flavor, a lot of taste, but it's something that you can do in a snap of a finger, especially on a lazy Sunday when you have nothing to do. Once you finish whisking your egg mixture together, you bring your brioche bread over. Brioche is very important, because I think that's the best bread for a French toast. You bring it over to your egg mixture, dip it nicely on one side. Once that's done, you transfer it over to the cornflakes, you press it down nicely, real soft, then you flip it to the opposite side, press it down real easy. Before you put it to the pan though, it's very important, you put some butter in the pan. You don't want to overcook the butter. I would say medium heat or low heat is perfect because once the butter turns too brown, that means you're burning the butter. Once the butter is melted completely, you transfer your bread over to the pan. You keep an eye out on it. Make sure you're not overcooking your French toast too much on one side. Once it's done, flip it over to the opposite side. It's going to be nice and golden. I feel like cooking is the best way to bring two people together. Cooking is love. When you cook from the heart, it means a lot. Personally, I think my dish is going to be the winning dish. It's because I'm cooking with love, cooking from the heart. I think Destiny is going to love this dish because it has a balance of sweetness, the crunch, the flavor, all combined together. It's perfect. Here's my favorite part. It's all about details, and that's the part of plating the dish. Of course, step one is your syrup. Just a little bit, coat it nicely all over. And then your next step is your berries. So for me, when I'm putting on the berries, it's all about details and it's a masterpiece, it's art. Then after you're done placing your berries, you go with the powdered sugar. So now that I'm done, I'm super excited. This dish is beautiful, it looks great. And I know Destiny's gonna pick this, because if she picks this, she picks me. I'm not worried about the other guys. You know why? Because I'm cooking with love, that's all that matters. Destiny, you're gonna pick this dish. These are like fancy restaurant like style meals. I was expecting like scrambled eggs, maybe a couple pancakes, some waffles. In my experience, men usually can't cook at all, so I feel like this is like a pleasant surprise. I cannot wait to try these. Let's go with number one. It's like cooked in something. Mmm. Mmm. Fresh raspberries. This is good. This, like, on a Sunday morning, I would love this. All right, ooh, nice crispy croissant. We're losing some crust. Mmm, the egg has a lot of flavor. I love a good breakfast sandwich. I like that one. Ooh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get my hot sauce on. All right. The avocado is really smooth. I love a good like smooth avocado spread. I don't love it super chunky. And the egg is fried like perfectly. I love like the runny yolk. And it's really, really, really flavorful. This is gonna be really hard. These are all so good. Like who knew we had people here that could cook? <laughs> so the first dish that I'm going to eliminate is the sandwich. Um, it was really delicious, but it didn't really feel Sunday morning to me, so this one's gotta go. Sorry, sandwich man. I'm the sandwich oh guy. Oh my gosh. I, I take this personally. But that just, it just wasn't for me. It's cool, it's cool. I'm not taking it personal, you know? Thank you, Andrew. So good. I'm just take it, yeah. I'll enjoy it. And then there were two. Mm, this is so hard. Whew, Sunday morning, you wake up. It can either be a cozy day, it could be a productive day. What would I want to eat? The dish that I'm going to eliminate is... the avocado toast and egg. <laughs> it was really good, but probably not my go-to Sunday dish. Hi! I made the avocado oh toast. Oh my goodness! Hi, nice to meet you, Matt. Nice to meet you. It was so. really good. It was delicious. The egg was like perfect. Oh, thank you. Yes, and the hot sauce. Was that your idea? That was my addition. That yeah. was like so good. Perfect. I love hot sauce. I'm glad you liked yes, it. Thank you. Well, it was very nice meeting yes, you. I'm you glad too. I could cook for you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to take your dish with you, maybe? I am really excited to meet whoever made this bomb French toast. What a do now? Oh my God! <laughs> That's hilarious. Korea. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh my god, you can cook. Boom. Do you want to eat it? Yeah, eat it yeah. Okay, I'll song. let you try it. Those cornflakes, is that butter? I don't know what. Wow. You, so good. It's good. What are we going to do? We're going to go enjoy this. Okay. Together. Okay, let's do it. Comment below if you want to see the rest of the date. Let's go. All right.
Oh, yes!